Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb in North Thailand in the Shambles Cottage. And it's June 2012, and I want to um, display something here called. Let's, have, let's move this down a little bit if I can. There we go. I'm, I want to display and talk about Display Recorder. Now Display Co Recorder is an app for the iPad. Actually I'm not sure if it's for the iPhone as well. And it's $1.99. And it's only recently been released, much to the surprise of everybody, because um, there's a lot of speculation that an app like this, which would screen record whatever's on your iPad, was not, was not going to be allowed by Apple, but it is until maybe they take it out so get it quickly um, let me just show you how it works though but you just go to the uh, iTunes store and uh, search for display recorder it's unlike the other uh, screencasting apps on the iPad let's, ha let's have a look let me let me actually maybe I'll show you the other ones that I've got on my iPad let's move this along here I've got over a thousand apps on here now it's crazy Okay, I have an area somewhere soon called screencasting, and you can see it's uh, an, an, uh, a folder here. So if I click on there, you can see my uh, screencasting apps that I've got here. Explain everything, Edu Creations, which is brilliant. Uh, show me Screen Chomp. These are brilliant. All the all these apps. Some of them are free. I think Edu Creations is free. Uh, I really admire the guys who make software like this, uh, make it free, and then try and make money from sort of pr a premium service. Actually, while I'm here, maybe I'll mention Coaches Eye. If you're a teacher, let your PE or sports staff know about Coaches Eye. It's not free, but it enables you to take a video of any sporting action, or anything in fact, but in PE, a sporting action, a, a student playing tennis, then you can play it back immediately on your iPad, and annotate so you can actually write on it and say look your shoulder should be up here a bit or make the play this or point that way great for PE staff but but I'm going off on the tangent there because really what I want to talk about is this one display recorder now all of these apps tend to work by having a screen and you can write on that screen and record it and your audio at the same time and maybe you can put an image on the screen and record that as well uh, so you can do digital storytelling for instance or show how maths equations can be solved which actually could, that, that's called maths casting if you didn't know um, but this one is very different this one uh, and I've not seen anything like this before hence the surprise that Apple's allowed it um, display recorder lets you record anything that's on the screen it's not in any particular window let me show it to you let me just uh, close this and do a five finger swipe up and open display recorder down there so you can see here it is um, if I click on here it starts recording and there will be a pause button come where when I do that come on there when I do that this is stop um, here's four recordings I've done already uh, this obviously is delete once you've recorded like this one here if I wanted to send it to YouTube uh, uh, I can do that here, upload to YouTube, export to photo library and other places. Let me just cancel that. Um, and here, if I click on there, I'll play a earlier recording. If I uh, go on there, you can see I can title it description keywords. Mm, they, they don't call them tags, interesting. I can make it private and so on. I had some problems uh, with this early version and I'm sure they'll sort it out. But I have some, I've had some problems in uh, uploading to YouTube. I've not been successful in uploading to YouTube. But basically, all you do is you you touch on here, and it starts recording. And then, clicking on the button here, I can just go to my iPad screen, and you see there's a red bar across the top now telling me that I'm actually recording and it's recording my audio and whatever I do on this if I move over to here and I go to screencasting I could talk about these and it, it would record it 
I have found one bug. One bug is that uh, when I try this, is if I open up an app that has access to audio or needs access to audio, I did it with Talking Tom, if you know Talking Tom, um, then I I lost the audio in uh, Display Recorder. Audio didn't didn't work. But it's early days yet, and I'm sure these things, the problem uploading to YouTube, the interaction with audio, I'm sure they'll sort it out. But for now, I think, let me move up here. Let me go to uh, Safari, and I think, here we go. This is the website of the uh, makers of display recording. See the URL on the top here, bugandsoft.com display recorder. They're building up some free FAQs here on things that are going wrong and uh, and so forth. Now, I was going to record this using Screen Recorder, but I'm cheating. I'm actually mirroring my iPad to my uh, Windows machine, actually, using this reflection app here. And I'm actually recording, uh, doing the screencast on my Windows machine. Are you completely mind-boggled now? <laughs> you can get very incestuous this. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. I think that um, reflection, uh, uh, sorry, display recorder, and let's just go back to it because I haven't stopped it recording. Let me stop it recording. There we go. Uh, now it's merging the audio and video tracks. I think this app, display recorder, let me show it you one last time in the app store. Display recorder is, in the, is going to be a must for any teacher's digital toolbox. I hope you found that of interest. Have fun.